I walked into MBA not exactly knowing what I wanted to do. So I think that kind of helped me be flexible. I said, you know what, if this is a one once in a lifetime opportunity and it's the hardest thing to do. So I, I, I asked people like, what is it? Like, how do you prove yourself? Like I was in a search, I was trying to prove to myself that I am better or like I, I really deserve this, you know, in some way I was trying to answer to myself and I asked them, okay, what is the most challenging thing that people struggle with at Stern? And they're like investment banking. I applied to a lot of VC firms because I had businesses here. So I thought VC would be a great option. But turns out that US does not regard what we do here as entrepreneurship, really. Like, I felt like Indian VCs would have, like, definitely given me a chance or an offer. And there it was just not enough because all of them wanted finance experience some way or the other. Like, you know how to add your company, financial modeling and things like that, which I absolutely did not have. So I wanted to get into finance because eventually to be to be VC in this space, I really had I need to have the background. The process is really hard in investment banking because they have a lot of coffee chats and because Stern is in Manhattan, we have a lot of face time with bankers. So we go and like have multiple coffee chats. So it's like to begin with, internationals have like 10 to 11 banks. Some banks want finance backgrounds only. Some banks, some groups are not recruiting. I was recruiting heavily for technology group. So some banks, the technology group is not recruiting this year. Just so there's no option itself. So I thought it's very risky to like have one bet. So I, I was recruiting for both banking and consulting and I was like let's see whatever happens tech was really bad this year so there was no tech consulting or no tech product management kind of roles that were available there was only generalist consulting and all of that so this process goes on for like two months starting October November is when you like do all the coffee chats even consulting has coffee chats but they're more relaxed they're more human and mostly they don't have to worry because their recruitment happens in spring also and they are applying for marketing branding kind of roles not not the traditional roles and there are more open spots so VCs and all also don't recruit this early they recruit in spring when they have a fund opening or something. They just say, hey, there's a space and then these people apply and they get in. So those are the people who are... So 60% of the badge gets placed in the fall semester. 40% gets placed in the upcoming spring semester. And they are more niche kind of roles that they exactly know what they want to do. They want to be in music industry or media and arts industry or something. <laughs> okay, so tell me how did Morgan suddenly happen then? Oh, wow. How was that? Yeah, so it was the same process. So they came to campus, they gave a corporate presentation, we did some networking, and we had coffee chats. They shortlisted their, like every coffee chat, they keep cutting people and, you know, refining the batch that they want. And there were like two people by the end of it in December is when you actually formally fill in the application and hear back from them that you have been shortlisted for the interview. And interview is the core technical so till that point no one will ask you the technical aspect of it because I'm a career career switcher they really want to understand why investment banking why our bank why our group kind of questions that is what is asked over and over and over again during the coffee chats and you need to have that good story that really fits well like when did your interest start and all that and seniors kind of guide you to guide you how to tell the story and how to make it more sensible and things like that, whatnot. Then they gave me an interview invite and after that, it was really quick. There was round one of interview, there was round two of interview and then they call it a super day where four to five interviews happen back to back with all the global heads and things like that. And there is some written assessments, math assessment and all of that. So on super day, they actually call you down to the office and then... They want to meet you in person. Some interviews might be virtual. My first two rounds were virtual. And then they asked me to come down to office. So I also have a chance to look at the office. And within a day, they actually told me that, okay, you got the offer. But then there's a huge part of a negotiation as well because I had interviews with seven other banks. I had interviews with Bank of America, City, what else? Gold, Goldman Sachs, all these banks. 
So they kind of, so they ask you like, what is it that you want to make sure that you convert this? Because they also have the attrition kind of thing, like how many offers were made and how many accepted kind of. Mm-hmm. So I said, I want a fellowship. If you can give me a diversity fellowship, that would be great. And within two hours or something, he called me back and said, yeah, we're giving you a diversity fellowship. You are a really diverse candidate. You're an engineer, entrepreneur, and you, you're from Stern and we want to like, and there's on, I was the only person from Stern who got into this class. Wow. And, and six people, all of them. So one person was from Harvard, Kellogg, Booth, uh, UC Berkeley, me and Wharton. This, this wow. is really? Yeah. <laughs> I was very intimidated when I knew that these, this was the final offer that they made. And it was it was nice because I, I always thought that okay I should be in a better school or something was my thought process as you know mm-hmm. so I just I just thought that okay Shri if you really think you are that great then try to be the top person at Stern if you can't be that then you can't really come and claim that you deserve wow. to be to school <laughs> and Stern was one good thing was like you mentioned there's no there was no cutthroat culture or anything everyone were extremely supportive extremely collaborative including seniors they were super helpful it just felt like my old college like triple it has the same culture we have we have that yeah. family community kind of thing going on and people were really nice what changed in you so I think it's just the process and how it's designed. So I was that, how do you expect me to decide in one month what I want to do? Because I'm not sure that I, I thought I'd have two years to decide where I want to be and what I want to do. And that is why I came for it. But then one good thing is that every firm kind of does introduction. All of them come on campus. And I mean, it still is a sales pitch. You can't really buy that. But you will get some idea of when you see 10 firms presenting in front of you, you kind of see what they are trying to say. Finance was one thing I was sure that, okay, I want to get in get in there. And product management was one thing for sure I did not want to go to. So that kind of, and being an international, it kind of na- narrowed down my options as well. So I was not recruiting for tech. So I just have investment banking and consulting. It just felt like, Investment banking, I can never do in my life if not right now. It was just that one point that hit me that, okay, listen, if not for this community, if not for the seniors, if not for these batchmates that I already have, I can never, ever even in my wildest dreams think of investment banking. And I was like, sure, let me do that. And by the end of it, I was the person who had most number of interview invites I had the highest package, like obviously the top three, all JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley have similar packages. And I got a fellowship. So which was, which was proof enough that, okay, fine, you know what? You probably deserve a better school, but you made the most out of whatever you have right now. And I would never have gotten into investment banking if it was not for Stern. So I was like, maybe it was fate all along that, you know, just put me in the right school, (laughs) put me in the right city. And the right circumstance for me to get here. I remember the school selection discussion that we had. And yeah. I know we just had like a couple of weeks. And you were toying with which school to add. And every time you came back with a higher option. Yeah. <laughs> and I felt so skeptical about it because, you know, timeline. You know, a lot of things. You're yeah. relatively younger than now. Yeah. But I'm so, so happy. At rem- I remember when you were getting calls and interview calls, I told you, I think you are star now on Align. Just apply to any school you want right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember that. I, I do know after one semester that I have friends whom I can fall back on and say, hey, can you please help me with this? And they would. And I think this is one thing, like right now I'm talking to prospective students who want to apply to Stern. And I'm sharing my experience and this is what I told them. So I can give you a complete that you will not probably have at other schools. Again, I do I don't know as much, but one thing is is that people are by default ready to hear. And it's ingrained in people that you're not competing with your fellow classmates. You're trying to help your fellow class. So after my interview, if I have like an earlier slot from eight thirty or eight thirty to nine or something. I would come out and give the questions that I was asked in the interview. 
and it's it's hard because you're putting yourself at, at a risk right like because the other person would have a competitive advantage of knowing that question but still every one of them do it because at some point or the other you will also benefit from someone else doing it so it's just that like there might be people who take unfair advantage of it time yeah. but then it's yeah. just how the but the next semester i have a class with ashwat dam who is considered to be like yeah so i would be sitting in his class and probably like you know i can raise my hand and ask him a question and he would probably respond i can go for office hours and that's something exciting and he is like a person a lot of us know but then it's turned there a lot of prof- professors who are recognized in poets and quants 40 under 40 kind of list and i had this class with i had this class forms and markets with meher saeed and i did not know about him like oh, i i was like okay maybe someone but then i went in he gave his introduction in class 1 and i was like, wow you are teaching me like i feel so honored he he studied at stern but then he also wrote, he was an author he wrote some books and he works in the microeconomic space and the way he taught his class was like amazing like even if i miss all the other classes i would still try and make some time to go to this class because i really liked it so the professors are professors were nice actually when the professor was very interesting she was actually working with a lot of companies to the for the fortune private company she was an advisor to them at some point so they had like really good profiles but more than anything they they were willing to like actually interact in class and help us out before i got the internship right if you if you talk to me then i would have been a different person because i yeah. was uncertain i was like i don't know what i'm worth and all that but now that i have something it's more like okay what you did is probably right so it was like a validation of sorts it was a validation that your thought process was right your your method of preparation was right and your approach was right so i think wow. i i got like much i mean getting this offer was everything for me honestly oh i am a part of so the other aspect of it is i i am like an avp in seven different clubs so there's wow. one thing called south asian business association there's pvc private equity venture capital entrepreneurship through acquisition entrepreneurship startup association so i've been waiting to do this just to tell <laughs> how the journey was and you know what i learned in the process and thank yeah, yeah. you for actually not giving up on me when i called you just i so i was just telling my mom it's exactly one year ago like jan 15th was the deadline for stern and i think i reached out to you on 12th and that you know i want to do this and you were like what doesn't make sense but fine we'll do this <laughs> thank uh, you lovely lovely talk to you and all the best for your internship <laughs>